Welcome, FNUSA57 here. Once again, I'm back on my Xbox Series X today to bring you yet another Elden Ring video. In this guide, I want to show you how to get what is possibly the best, definitely in the top three staffs in the game. I will be showing you how to get Lucette's, Lucette's staff. Uh, hopefully, don't do that and just have a magical sorcerer spawn right on top of you. The area that we are in isn't a super high level area, but it definitely can be an annoying area because of uh, enemies just like that. So where you will want to go on the map for this is pretty much right in the center of the Khalid area, I believe. This red rot area. And it is this specific town right here, the Salil Town of Sorcery. And this is where you will find the staff. Now, there's a couple of actual bonfire or uh, grace site locations. So if you just want the staff, which is what I will be showing in this video, then, well, only go for what's absolutely necessary. But of course, you can come back and explore the town later. And then the boss fight will be up towards the northwest that is a different map fragment of course if you don't have it so the best point to start off with there's two steps to getting the staff the first step is to go ahead and unlock the boss arena the second step is to actually go through the boss fight now i'm playing a battle mage and for this i will be using the next best staff in the game that you can get early on which is the meteorite staff and then the moonvale katana totally check out the videos that i have on my channel for those and as a starting point we will be using the little mini golden sprout of a tree that spawned here right up the staircase in the northern section which is very easy go ahead and go up the northern staircase here and this will be the reference point that we will be using to go ahead and unlock the boss arenas. Now, what we have to do is light three brazers. You can kind of see them, at least sort of, in these towers. There's the one right in front of me, almost directly to the west. Then there is one all the way across the town in the fog, almost directly to the south, and one across on top of a building over there that's a little bit southeast. Basically, come up here, and you have to go across the vines and the rooftops, roots, root tops, whatever you want to call them here. Uh, now, you will probably need torrent for this. It may actually be possible to do this without torrent, but the fact that torrent has a double jump will make your life incredibly easy. So this is not one of the staffs that you will be getting very early on in the game i would advise you pick up the meteorite staff first that is unless you have a friend that you can summon to make your life easier so you'll notice that every time you go ahead and light one of these blue flame brazers it says a seal was broken somewhere in town and basically, there are several rooms around this town that are blocked by magical seals similar to that blue one that we were just at a moment ago. And you can loot those, but for the purposes of this video, we will be simply going for the staff. There's also a number of items to loot around the map in this town, and we can get those later. You can always come back to them. There is only one particular item that I will be going for right now. And then we will, well, <laughs> be going to the boss fight. So there is a Ash of War beetle. And if you want it and have a considerable ranged spell, you can go ahead and just knock it off of that little perch on the tree very easily. That gives you the Ash of War double slash. Uh, now, this is a jumping puzzle kind of and it's harder because you're on horseback so just keep that in mind that uh it's a little tricky um now just like regular jumps you can jump from normal walking pace or you can go ahead and start to sprint and then use the double jump ability which 
makes you fly across an even farther distance. So I would recommend personally using that. Uh, like I said, there's a few items around here. You do have to remember the turning radius with torrent is, uh, let's just say, a little bit buggy. So keep that in mind. And there's a ton of the little ghost sorcerer dudes running around the map. So if you don't time your jumps correctly and fall down there, you'll be forced to fight them. They don't really take that much damage to kill, so if you are forced to fight them, it's not too terribly bad. But they do magic damage, so if you don't have good magic resistance on your armor, it's going to be difficult. There are a few flying marionette soldiers the ones that actually have like the little makeshift bird wings. Do keep that in mind when you do this. And you should take them out before you have to deal with them. If you do your jumps perfectly though, this should be a relatively easy thing for you to do. And like I mentioned earlier, the staff is one of the best staffs in the game. Uh, it's kind of arguable. Some people say it is the best staff. Other people say it's the Azores Glenstone staff that's the best staff. Personal preference at the end of the day. I think the Lucette staff is a little bit better only because of the fact that it doesn't consume extra FP when you're casting spells, which unless you have a lot of FP, that can be very annoying. So once you have those three brazers lit, which it's very easy to tell because they're illuminated with the bright blue flames, then what you want to do is go ahead and get ready for the boss fight, which is located in the vault to the northwest. So from our newly discovered point of grace, that's the back streets area. Now we head to the vault keep which is just to the right. And if you can find someone to summon and bring in with you, it would probably be helpful. Of course, you could use the Mimic Ash as well. Uh, this boss fight isn't supposed to be the hardest boss fight, but uh, I think a lot of people just skip it because it is a dual boss fight. So be ready for some craziness depending on how your damage is, that's for sure. And these bosses do like to dodge around a lot. Also, the target lock in this game loves to switch from one target to the other, so that's something that should be kept in mind as well, especially if playing a ranged class that relies on a target lock. Even though they like to dodge, if you use a homing spell, though, something like uh, either the Glenstone Stars that home or the Meteorite Staff comboed with the Rock Sling spell, it's really pretty easy to just defeat them even by yourself. And then that will give you the Nox Flowing Sword. And you get a new Sight of Grace which you might as well unlock. Now, the staff, which is the real reason why we were here, is located in a chest that is just up these stairs. It's not trapped. You don't have to worry about that. And there is the Lucette's Glenstone staff. So taking a look at the two weapons that we just acquired, uh, comparing stats with the meteorite staff pretty much the arguable either best or second best staffs in the game are azor's glenstone staff and then the lucette's glenstone staff which is the one that we just got now of course both of those staffs can be upgraded however their default stats are less impressive way less impressive 
than using the meteorite staff. Personal preference at the end of the day, the problem with the meteorite staff is it can never get any stronger than what it is because it can't be upgraded. But it does have an S scaling in intelligence, whereas the starting stats for like the Lucette staff are much lower until you actually go ahead and get the somber smithing stones and upgrade it. I should mention that the Lucette staff does not increase the casting speed like the azor staff but it also does not increase the amount of fp consumed when casting so keep that in mind and from defeating the boss we got the nox flowing sword which is another interesting weapon but surprisingly for a magic area it does not do magic damage Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, help me out extremely by smashing those like and subscribe buttons. Make sure you have notifications on so you never miss out on a new video. Until next time, my brothers and sisters of that legion, stay frosty.